In this class, you will learn how to create blocks to let you generate multiple copies of elements in one or more directions. When blocks are used for these actions, it's not necessary to use other commands to conclude the project underway. So let's learn and practice how to define dynamic blocks. You can begin by defining a block to enable copying elements in one direction. Let's open the fence dwg file to do this. After the file is open, double click the drawing to access the block editor. You'll mainly use the linear parameter and the array action on this block. First you apply the parameter. We have already studied this subject, so it's not necessary to go into detail on its application. Let's use these two points to define this parameter. Now you'll apply the array action. Enable the tool and select the previously inserted parameter. After that, select the elements to be copied. To conclude, define the distance between copies. So in this case, let's define the distance between copies as 200. Now the block configuration is finished. So let's test it to see how it behaves. See how when you drag the grip, new elements are added. This block, which was just created, is enabled to make multiple copies in one direction. And now let's see how to create a block to make multiple copies in several directions. Open the air vent dwg file to do this. Now open the block in the block editor. Let's apply an XY parameter and array action. Start by using the parameter. Enable the tool and select these two diagonal points. Position the tags and click to confirm the action. Now let's apply the action. Proceed basically the same way as in the previous block, however in this case you'll define the space between copies in both directions. The distance between cells is 9.3 and then 3 spaces are added to the height of the air vent. The space between columns is 4.05 and three spaces are added to the width of the air vent. After finishing the block settings, let's test and see how it behaves. See how when you drag the grip, new elements are added. So in this class you've learned how to create blocks for making multiple copies in one or several directions quickly and easily.